Cancer really dragged me down, but drag itself really lifted me up. You can be the best in that alter ego and put all the positivity into your drag. You get strength from that. I'm Avalina Love and I'm here because cancer is a drag. I was diagnosed in September 2010 with follicular lymphoma, stage four, unfortunately. And um, it took me three years of uh, chemo treatment and then a stem cell transplant to actually come out the other side. I thought maybe being a gay man, clubbing, not looking after myself, you've got the big one, it's your fault. But I was assured by everybody, all the, all the doctors, consultants, that it wasn't my fault. Cancer is cancer, it affects all of us. I used to go to the clubs and bars and I used to love the drag shows. And then I thought, well, why can't I do drag? Why can't I have some fun with my life? I've been through a really hard time. All of my friends in the drag community got together and helped me raise money by putting on shows and stuff to help other people. My name is have a line of love. I just want to throw a line of love out to people. There's a lot more to cancer than the disease itself. The things that go through your head, like how am I going to pay my bills? Where's the food coming from? The really important things you need help with. You know that your friends and family really care for you, but they can't really see what's going on inside your head. You feel really alone. You feel like you've lost your voice. You just feel trapped inside your own body. I lost my hair. It just makes you feel so naked and so weird. You don't want to look at yourself in the mirror. When you do drag, you dress up. You put on loads of stuff. You make yourself into another personality. You have a character to hide behind. When I was at my lowest, I felt really exposed. I was vulnerable. That's when you really need the support.